Welcome to Friday Football Fever Overtime, everyone. You're on the right channel in the right station. I'm Trent Bennett in for Mike Alzamora. Your East Texas scores are rolling across the bottom of your screen. We're also streaming on your computer or your mobile device. The link for you on KETK.com or just go to the free KETK mobile app. Let's get things started with your Texas Spine and Joint Hospital Game of the Week. Game of the Week brought to you by Texas Spine and Joint. Less than eight miles separate White Oak and Gladewater, but both teams enter Jack V. Murphy Stadium tonight, and they were both undefeated in district play. Someone had to lose here. Frank Jefferson has been at the Murph all night for us, and he joins us from Gladewater to tell us about this district rivalry showdown. Frank, how'd it play out? Trent, there was great energy to this game, and both teams gave great effort back and forth on both sides of the ball. But at the end of the night, Gladewater dominated this one tonight. Uh, let's get to those highlights. Undefeated White Oak running onto the field, getting ready to play Gladewater, who are undefeated in league. White Oak put their defense in the forefront first as they swarm to the ball and force a fumble and recover the ball. Bears show they could also make a stop as lineman Eli Cates gets a great sack. This is where Gladewater starts to pour it on as QB Tristan Holmes finds wide receiver Colin Lewis for the touchdown to put the first score on the board, 7-0 Bears. Holmes heaves one into the end zone again, but this time to wide out DJ Allen into double coverage as he breaks away for the touchdown. 14-0 Gladewater. Ladies and gentlemen, this next play coming up is crazy. Allen throws to Cates, who tosses it to Eli Carter, who takes it all the way to the house to make it 21-0 Bears. And now we can take a look at that final score, 31-14 Bears, and the Bears get the win. Here's what the coach had to say about the game. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's a it's a good feeling. Winning winning solves a lot, but uh, we still have a lot to work on. Uh, I think our kids realize that. Our senior class is really good, and uh, you know they want to try to play as long as we can, and they know we're going to get back to work on Monday. You know? With this win, Gladewater clinches a share of their district title, and when playoffs come around, they're going to have the top seed. They're 5-0 and in their league right now, and they're 7-2 and overall. Congratulations to the Bears and their coach for this great win. Trent, back to you.